make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. From soldiers in the trenches of World War II to what seems to be a Michael Bay flick, the Call of Duty franchise has been a mainstay for 17 years now? Let's talk about some of the mechanical changes and some of the deviations that they've done to the franchise and uh, what we think, uh, good or bad, about that. Let's get into this discussion on Call of Duty. All right. I played Call of Duty Finest Hour. I, I've played all of the Call of Duties uh, from one up at this point. I played, I, I've played four or five different uh, Call of Duties at this point. I skipped the uh, the Black Ops multiplayer, thank God, from what I've heard. Yeah. And yeah. The, the in, in Call of Duty, so in Call of Duty Finest Hour on the Xbox, which is right over there in the box, my original Xbox, I could get up and get it right now, but it would cause problems because I trip over some stuff. I could get my original Xbox right now. I had Call of Duty Finest Hour, and you went from, even in multiplayer, kind of feeling like this boots on the ground soldier that's just going to to do their thing. It's a Michael Bay film at this point. Oh, it's it all is. a Michael all, Bay I, film. And all you have to do is look at the um, the mechanics of the way that you know you just even move anymore. I mean, look at the uh, curtain. There's one. a smoothness to moving. It's not even the uh, you like to talk about the smoothness, the smoothness and the uh, speed of your motion. I'm talking about what you're able to do while you're moving, right? And so here's here's the thing, right? And I'm going to compare and contrast to Halo because Halo obviously big, you yeah, know, genetically yeah, augmented. Master Chief and yeah, he's yeah, genetically yeah, yeah. augmented with a really you know. Well, dude, Powerful I played suit. a lot of Halo. I played a oh, I lot of so Halo. So let's compare and contrast, or you can even look at some of the um, mechanics well, in like, a, a game like Destiny, where you're a... Uh, let, no, let me throw this out there. Let me throw this out there. Okay? When I started playing this new Modern Warfare with you guys, yeah. I was like, man, it reminds me of Halo. It reminds me the of Destiny. Of, the amount of damage you can take, the amount of... The, the, just the way the movement is... The amount of being able to jump in the air and shoot at the same time, or slide and shoot, or and that's slide, what I was going to bring slide up. Slide and shoot, it, it's, it's there's which yeah. hey, that would have been a great mechanic in Halo. I'd love that in Halo. It's in Destiny, uh, but but that's what which I'm is saying, Halo is by that another name. It, it, you went from you went from boots on the ground soldier in the trenches of World War II, and from Vinus Tower in the multiplayer, and mechanically it kind of felt that way. It was yeah. clunky mechanically. It was clunky. It was absolutely clunky. Not on PC, it wasn't. When it was just Call of Duty? Well, yeah, but yeah. in Finest Hour, it was clunky. But now it's just a Michael Bay flick. And, you know, they always had kind of... But the difference, I think, and I'm going to put it in film terms, is that back when Call of Duty, and I'll say up until 4? Modern Warfare. Warfare. Yeah. It didn't want to be... The original Modern Warfare. Yeah, not the 2019. But COD 4, Modern Warfare. Um, the difference is that they didn't want to be a Michael Bay flick. They wanted to be a Spielberg flick. Saving Private Ryan. So there, yeah, that's true. Yeah, there, there is some... actually yes, no, that's a hundred percent true. World at War was. I didn't care for World at War. I just. I okay. I'm gonna. I didn't go, like I'm World gonna, at War. I'm, go I'm not a fan of Black Ops. I'm gonna go ahead and piss off the internet even more and just say I actually think that they're inferior. I actually think World at War is worse than Modern Warfare Three. Fight me, internet. <laughs> Fight me. Oh God. No, and, and, and I can back this up in the sense that all right. So what is the premise of Modern Warfare Three? The single player. Is that it is World War Three, Russia versus the U.S., and everything is going global. You fight in America, France, Russia, the Middle East, Africa. Everything is global. And so the set pieces are expanding. And yeah, it's an action flick. But the funny thing is, is Modern Warfare 3 isn't a Michael Bay flick. It's a Roland Emmerich flick. Disaster movies. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so, oh, Roland Emmerich. Yeah. What, what is he Day doing? After Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And right, so, sorry. you know, everything is a big spectacle, but you know what? There is some grounding still left. By the time that we hit, um, I'd say, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 2, uh, Black Ops 3, definitely Infinite Warfare, where you're just flying a spaceship now. It, yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. I was like, what, when did Call of Duty want to become Halo? Call of Duty beat Halo uh, probably, in the gaming war. They did. Uh, well, Halo also kind of you know let itself die. Too. Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was 
There was there was some self induced like poisoning there on Halo's end, but but no, and I sit the, so I sit there and I look, and I sympathize with the developers. I really do because, you know, the entire. I, I, I will say this. I will say this, to, to sympathize with the developers. Yeah. Modern Warfare, the 2019 release, is beautiful. Oh, to look the at the sound and design is great. It's probably the, the weapon best. choice is awesome. It's the best it's characters. Been in a long time. It, it, the 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 uh, the ability to customize as much as you can, amazing. But, they did a great job with that, and I don't think oh, my problems yeah. are with any of that at all. No, uh, my thing is is that you know my sympathy comes from you know the entire internet screaming that you just released the same game over and over and over again, right? And so, how do you mechanically I, I evolve? Just did a, I just uh, uh, put a post on our, uh, uh, our on our Twitter, and by the time this video is out, it'll be long gone. But it was it was essentially that you know you know the hero's journey is being ruined by modern day. You know the hero's journey is timeless, and we're pulling it out of time in, in order to do our own thing with it. Kind of the same concept here. And so I just sit there and I look, and I think people misunderstand what regenerating health is for. Right, I hate regenerating health. I, I don't it. because and uh, you've got, but you've got to know when and where to use it. If you are again to make the Halo comparison, the chief wears the millionaire armor, which has shields. Yeah. Your, your health doesn't regenerate; your shields do. Mm -hmm. If your shields go down, chief dies fairly quickly. Or in Halo One or Reach, you have a health bar that will go down and won't come back past a certain point. Yes, um, without a health kit. In Call of Duty, you just have straight regenerating health, and on um, the default multiplayer settings are on the campaign mode. You can eat a decent amount of fire before you go down. Even in hardcore. And that's that's my preferred game And mode. so, you know, it went from, you know, and I remember, because uh, I, I did this just recently, you know, when you went through on, a, like, a United Offensive and you're pushing back a Nazi uh, push in the trenches with the, uh, the Soviet oh. army... You know, you've got the, you know, a Russian-style anthem blaring in the background, and you feel scared because any damage you take is permanent. You can't just duck behind a rock and... Yeah. And, but, you know, where... See, and I like that. I like the damage where, you take as permanent. Where you need regenerating health in those games is they still want their vehicle turret set pieces where you're in a fleeing vehicle, you got to have some sort of regenerating health or a stack of health packs because well, if I... and they, and if they I can't didn't move, in Finest Hour, and that was... If you're in a vehicle so and find a tower, a, a tank, or whatever... There is a time and place, and if, you, if you're going to make me static and unable to avoid damage, it's just random based on the hit scan, mm -hmm. then no, I need regenerating health. I would like... Re I, I, I would like... I don't mind some regenerating health. I would prefer self-medicking or buddy-medicking in the, the modern game. What's because funny it's, is Call of, uh, Call of Duty World War II, which was a return to roots... <laughs> um, for the franchise, it wasn't. It, um, yeah, I know, I know. But they I, actually I brought heard. back the health kit uh, system, and it didn't change a thing. It was still a Michael Bay film. So it's not just the health system that's the issue here. It's the way you present the engagement. If I am a soldier that is able to take out half a platoon by myself, I'm no longer a soldier. I am a hero. I am a super soldier. I am the chief. I am, you know... I am legend. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's it's, sorry. That does not pertain to this. It's no, just but funny it, to throw it, in there. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. But no, it's and that's exactly the problem. And so it's not the health system that causes this. It's, it's not the health system. It's mechanic. It, it, it's a lot of the mechanics. It's part of it is the health system. Part yeah. of it is the and, and one of the things that's just been irritating me lately is it seems like their hit recognition system is all oh, online place. and uh, you know some of that i believe is due to our current situation where server maintenance isn't as regular as it might should be but no call of duty's always had an issue where you know you might I, could need to do some stuff people but i've seen hit recognition in older cod games where uh you know the reticle will be a good you know at least you know in the game space a good two three feet off from where the actual target is, and it'll still register because the game still thinks that they're there. Yeah. And so no. Oh, I've done it. I'm like, really? You, you and I have had that really game. You're gonna give that one to me? Or you're gonna take that one from me? Yeah. And so you know, and this ties and, and, into both single player and multiplayer, where it's just okay. If I'm playing a grounded military style game, right? Yes. And obviously, Call of Duty's never and never will be a military simulator. No. 
But, Thank God, because I don't want a military but what, simulator. But what we want is a certain degree of authenticity, right? Yes. And so what I don't want is some shirtless dude sprinting at me, spraying a Mac-10 oh to slide underneath me, jump over, and spray the other two dudes behind me. It, we, we, we shouldn't be doing Call of Duty Donkey Kong. Yeah. We should okay. be doing... Explain that one, but... Uh, with Donkey Kong, you know, a lot and... Oh. You can jump over stuff and throw barrels and stuff. Oh, okay. That's a, okay. Get it? It's the jump yeah. mechanic in the OG Donkey Kong. Yeah. All of a sudden you jump over a guy in multiplayer. You see that little 100 light mm. up. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it, it shouldn't be that. It. No. And my, but, but again, the mechanical evolution feels like Call of Duty did. Well, if you're not. They went from boots on the ground soldier from the from again finest hour because that's the yeah. one that I played yeah. back in the day. Yeah. To this, <clears throat> this, the, the, it's it's almost like they're trying to to emulate the super soldier or the master chief, but if, in uh, human form, uh, not in master chief form. But they're trying to make it born. like slight born. Yeah. Born. Yeah. yeah Jason yeah. born. Yeah. 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 They're trying to and it just it just it doesn't feel. It doesn't feel like a mechanical military shooter anymore. It feels like paintball. It's freaking paintball. It is. is. It's become paintball. Because it's not, it's no longer, it has the veneer of a military. And don't get me wrong, some of the graphical designs. Oh, the guns look fantastic. The sounds are fantastic. The audio is great. They they really had to step up after DICE started eating their lunch on that one. Because audio the, 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 the battlefield great. games. There, are, there are things about audio. Call of Duty that are just oh my god, beautiful and stunning. But on this one, the one prior that didn't exist, they had to do that on this one because they were trying to, you know, they were actually trying to innovate a bit or yeah. at least resuscitate. Um, so, no, and uh, I know I argue with you on the movement speed and the fluidity because having a fluid, responsive character in any video game is never a bad thing. The only time that's a bad thing well, is in a... Do you know what bothers me so much now? No. I go out on my weekends when I can, and I play Airsoft. Right. And guess what? That's a more realistic shooter-style game. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. And guess what? When you're running, you're panting, you're out of breath, you're moving, people are coming around the corner... Oh, so you actually... The original, the original, oh, the okay. finest I... hour, that's why the fluidity of motion bothers me is because it okay. felt more realistic. Okay, so what you're not... Okay, I think I finally understand what you're arguing with. It's your ability to transition. It's the yes. ability to sprint pell-mell, your rifle's up in the air, to a slide, to a shooting stance, to that jump. Guess what? I've done power slides into walls. You don't shoot while you do it. <laughs> you don't shoot in power slide. Anybody... Who can? I'm. You don't do that. That oh, is any, not any, anybody, a something. Anybody trained? You can't jump shot in real life. That doesn't happen. You can jump around a corner to try to throw somebody off so they don't hit you, but you're not shooting until you hit a stable position again. Anybody? Not unless you're a Spartan. Not unless you're a Spartan. And that's my problem with it. Is the first one felt like it understood that. And I think it did, and that tie, that's both the PC and the console release. Yes. And I think well, because you played the PC, I played the console. And indeed. And so the other thing is, is that you know, even with the regenerating health in um, Call of Duty Two and Modern Warfare COD Four, Modern Warfare, mm. uh, the original, mm. I think they understood that you never felt like a super soldier, and your AI, at least in Four, was very very good for the time, and they were able to, and you felt like a squad of the spec ops. You know, types. And so you are the elite, but you are not invincible. Yeah. And so, you know, again, these, uh, this is also part of the reason Well, I and say, that's the problem is, you know, that when the, you feel like you're invincible, then when somebody takes you out in multiplayer, you feel like they're cheap. And I don't like that. I don't like feeling like my, the, like the, my fellow don't player. Don't feel like you robbed me because you've built up this power fantasy for me. Mm -hmm. If we all come at it where we're soldiers and we are on opposing armies... And we have to use trenches, and we have to use cover, and we actually engage like soldiers. You can make it faster, a little bit more arcadey than, say, Arma. But, yes. But at the same time, don't have me sprint sliding around all over the place. Don't have me jump shotting three people in a row with an M9. Yeah, that's ridiculous. No, and like I said, it just... you. And so what I think the issue is, and just to tie this back into the mechanics, is that people want to feel powerful. 
And Call of Duty is the number one selling shooter almost every year. And so what they do is they don't care about the fact that they are military. They care about what people want. And that's why Call of Duty is a shooter first and military second. It is no more realistic than Halo. It just pretends it is. And I think that disconnect bugs a lot of people. At least I think, oh, it bugs I, I, me. I, will, I will say this. It I, bugs I, me. I, I, won't, I won't be purchasing the next one. Because there's no point. I've already gotten the experience. Right. There's no point to purchase the next one. I've already gotten what I want to out of this game. And primarily, all this game was was to, to, to pair up with my buddies and talk with people. I don't get to see you a lot, uh, uh, with the exception of what we're doing now. Right. I, I don't get to see other friends of mine a lot because we got some over-the-road truck driver buddies. Yep. We've got some... And that's what this was for. And I'm going to be honest. I just... If I can find another... Any, any sort of other game, because at this point, it's just frustrating. At this point, it's just... They... they uh, uh, what do you always say? They fine tuned it to hell. Yeah, and and you're right. You're right. It's it's no longer this boots on the ground soldier game. It's like, man, just give me Halo. Because you just, might as well at this point. At least with Halo, the high time to kill makes sense, and you have weapons and abilities that make sense within that you know sphere, right? right. Well, and and here's the funny part too: is we say all of this, most likely chasing camos tonight. <laughs> We're most likely still going to chase some camo. I, I, I don't know. I, I might go back to some of my single player stuff. It, it's been. It's, I'm, do, I'm doing my umpteenth playthrough through Mass Effect One. So yeah. Um, I just I. They. We we talked about this in the Assassin's Creed video. I it must be popular. The reasons that game developers just lose the plot must just because that was they that's what makes the money. Well, and, and it's also, really sad because there are so many good things that could happen in games. And I, I, I can't really blame the developers or the producers or any of them at this point. I almost have to blame the purchasers. I almost have to blame the customers. Well, if it wasn't you know, something that the mainstream wanted, it wouldn't get made. It no, just that's wouldn't. true. And so we've got to sit there and you know, look at ourselves and say, if we no longer want this, let's not support it. Vote with your wallet. And, you know, well, and the only reason I bought this one was because you and, and another friend of ours had talked about it and, then, and said it was really good, and, and, it, and it was and so we have initially. a group of our friends that can get together, and you know, one of his a uh, long uh, road t truck driver, mm -hmm. one works nights, and uh, yeah. you and me often can't get together on a daily basis, so we can sit and you know, chit-chat over the uh, yeah. Xbox party and just sit and play. And at that point, what we're playing is rather inconsequential. Yeah. It was but, just that it was just something that everybody was like, "Oh yeah, that's easy to get." It is, and but, but but I'm not going to lie, and you've heard me, you know, go on tirades during this enough that I'd rather be playing Halo because at least Halo's honest about what it is. Yeah, I don't think I, I I really don't think that COD is honest about what it is anymore. No, because having it, played some of the previous installments and the older installments, I don't think that they're honest about what they what they are anymore. They're not they're not a military shooter anymore. They're a Michael Bay flick, and, and they don't. Spawns, well, and, I, and, and here's the thing: the one time that they actually admitted to it, everyone hated it. Oh, I know. And here's the thing too: is their spawn system is so jank at this point because they want to have that constant drip feed of action. You're always within ten feet of another another player, and so you just sit there. You always have a target to shoot at. You always feel like a badass until you get shot. I just and I, so I, this this need to. Um, Make yourself so powerful, I don't get anymore. I just don't get it. I don't know. Like I said, if you're going to make me a super soldier, just give me Halo. Why Maybe. are you guys producing COD games anymore? Why even bother Infinity with Ward could make a great Halo game. Most likely they could. At this point, I mean, you know, actually, if you want proof of that, go play Titanfall. Yeah. It's, you know, you have a higher health because you're a pilot. Uh huh. And so you're not quite a Spartan, but you're not boots on the ground. Right. And your AI companion is a 12 foot robot. Yeah, that you can get into and treat like a Gundam. Might and as well. So, and so, uh, but they know that because guess what? What it has is very fast movement, parkour abilities. But it's science fiction. You are no longer just a normal dude. See? And they know that if they're going to have this, you can't pretend that you're a normal dude. It. What's the old phrase? Ludo narrative dissonance. Yeah. It breaks the fiction. We can't sit there and have people sliding around a corner to pop up like they're you know the chief. It's yeah, and, and at the same time say, "Well, we're just playing soldier." No, you're not. 
No, you're not. You're... It, it, it... I'm sorry. Any one of these guys like, God, this is realistic. I don't know anybody who would say that. Thank oh, God. I, go, I can go ask several of the sol <laughs> uh, sol ex-soldiers and soldiers I met through playing with my country band. I play airsoft and I hang out nobody with airsoft power players. Nobody power slides around freaking corners. I, I play airsoft. It doesn't happen. Play, you know when you power slide? When you duck. Yeah. And you have to get the hell out the way because a paintball or, or, or BBs are flying at you. Yeah. Those are... That's a thing. Trust me. I know. It it's hurts. A, it's a panic move. It's not move. fun. It's and a panic move. You don't just sit there and power slide across asphalt. Yeah. Because you just can. Like, what did I put? Rollerblades on my fatigues? Like, so, anyway, we have a lot of issues with the way Call of Duty's evolved mechanically. I... And if any developer ever sees this, I think, you know, you were best when you were actually treating it with some authenticity. And that's what it... Call of Duty's just not authentic anymore. And... It would be nice to get back to that because it was refreshing. And authenticity is something that art forms such as movies, cartoons, and video games and television are desperately needing. And I will say this, um, Call of Duty was originally an answer to these super-powered sci-fi shooters like Halo. It was saying, hey, let's put you in the role of somebody who is part of a larger force and make them vulnerable. It was an answer to that, and now they've turned into it. What did, what did we say about Assassin's Creed? Yep. They lost the plot. They lost, they lost the, plot. the plot. So, All thank right. you guys so much for watching and Drink with Crazy. And stick around to the end of this episode to see how you guys can support the channel further. And we will see you all next time right here on A Drink with Crazy. Thank you for watching A Drink with Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.